What is up, YouTubers? Joji Joe here. And Chewy from ATX TCG. And we got a very, very fun video today. If you guys are paying attention, we kind of slightly mentioned this. Oh, actually, no, the video's not up yet, so never mind. We haven't mentioned this yet. Well, maybe we did. It's, it's a hidden subliminal message in our videos. But if you can't tell by the title below or above how YouTube works anymore, we're talking about the origins of the 72 pillars from our favorite world that we sarcastically say. Magic Rod. It's actually my favorite world, just saying. Um, but yes, um, I am a very big uh, fan of Magic World and the 72 Pillars faction. So, uh, Jersey Joe and I talked about it and we decided to make a video uh, explaining some of the information that we found out regarding 72 Pillars. Uh, little informational tidbits and whatnot. Um, disclaimer, before we continue this video, uh, I want to put this out there that um, we are gonna. It's it's not really religious, but to those who are religious and you know are very lighthearted on the topic, uh, this video may upset you. It may not. Um, these are of course demons. Uh, we are not gonna. It refers to hell, um, but I don't know how it refers to you guys if you guys are very religious. So again, this is a huge disclaimer right now. If you guys are very offended with religion or any type of religion, uh, please. Don't take this offensively. We're just reading origins of these cards that we read online. Just just for fun and, you know, just a line of the mood. Like, hey, we found these facts about these cards where they're based off of. Let's talk about it. So nothing about religious. We're not going to bring God or the demons or any new religion in this situation. It's just talking about these cards. We are merely exploring the lore behind the, the names of certain characters that you can pl play in in the 72 pillars faction essentially yeah so please don't don't be offended whatsoever we're just talking about the cards it's nothing to do with religion so just put it out there right now um after the, the disclaimer and all that uh, let's get started so the faction of the 72 pillars pillars actually uh has to do with the 72 demons of the arsgotia which is one of the five books of the lesser key of solomon which is essentially a grimoire or spellbook containing enchantments to summon said demons. So, the first card that um, can relate to that would be the Key of Solomon's, uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Um, these cards, I mean, aside from their funny looking characters in them and their abilities, um, it is, uh, I mean, they are referring to the actual. Uh, books, Key of Solomon, that has to do with the demons, the pillars, 72 demons, and all that stuff. So, we're gonna start off with President Viewer. Or as we know him as, Demon Doctor Viewer. Oh, that's not in frame. Now, this is very interesting. How you can see why he kind of gets the name and look of this card right here. Let me just put that there. Okay, we're in good frame right there. Now, President Viewer. Or would you know him as Demon Doctor Burr? Burr or Beer? Beer. Beer. Like Ferris Bueller. <laughs> Anyways, um, he controls 50 legions of demons. Now, Chu, you want to talk about that real quick before we continue with the legions? It's not Vanguard Legions, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> now, anyways, uh, we, we'll, we'll talk about that later. But uh, he teaches natural and moral philosophy and the logic. And. That's kind. Of, that's where you kind of get the doctor and his name, the doctor of philosophy and all that stuff. That's interesting. Now, now the art. Now I really like. They actually do reminisce to the origin of these demons, and that's what I like about these cards. They not only the name but the origin. Now listen to how he's uh, described as: five goat legs surrounding his body to walk in every direction, and with a lion's head. Now, if you look here, as you can see, he's got a lion's head, and. It's hard to tell, it's hard to watch too, but you can see there's little feet here, and that's all they is. It's a head with little dreadlock looking feet. And you can count these whatever you want to, but yeah, that's all he is. He's a lion head with five goat feet, just going like a little spider. It's freaky, but it's so cool. So yeah, as you can read, pay attention, you can see how cool his origins are. And moving right along, we've got King Pyman, or Fallen Angel Pyman. Pyman. Um, he is considered to be one of the kings of hell. He controls 200 legions of demons, teaches all arts, philosophy, and science, um, and hidden secrets of the, of the world. He is depicted as a man with feminine face, which if you have this card, which is a common, so it's pretty easy to find. Um, you can see that it does look 
potentially like a female, um, and with a crown, riding a dromedary, which is an Arabian or Indian camel, which you can kind of see that that kind of has a funky looking camel shaped face there. Next up, ooh, my favorite of these Magic World duos, Demon Realm Death Mount of Alifor, or his real name, just Duke Falafar, the rockin' metal punk rockin' duo who can't live on his own. You remember that episode? You've seen that episode. Okay, so Duke Falafar is the Duke of Hell. A, a Duke, I'm sorry, he's a Duke of Hell. Um, he tempts people to steal and has a good relationship among many thieves. Commands ten legions of demons... And he is represented as a lion with the head of a man or a donkey. Now, again, if you look at him very carefully, now the body, you can't really tell his body is very shaped like a human, but it's, it's, uh, 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 but you can tell by his hands, they look very lion like. He does look very, oh, okay, never mind. There's his tail. There's a lion's tail. So you can see he does have a body of a lion. And of course, in this art form, he is the head of a donkey. With uh, the hair of uh, Sid Vicious. <laughs> so there you go. We're two and one. So very, very cool. I'm You're digging these 72 pillars. So rock and metal Duke Valivar. And coming right along. We've got Gremory. The very quote unquote beautiful Gremory. Listen to this. Uh, yeah, this is actually the one of the cards that got me interested into looking at the... Um, the lore behind it or the origins of where they got the names for these cards and stuff. For starters, the flavor text of Preacher of Beauty, Gremory, says, Beauty is a part of talent. You should not fear talent, but nurture it, but nurture it instead. Now, it seems like it's just uh, a, a woman demon, essentially, um, talking about nurturing her beauty or whatever, but you'd be a little bit wrong. It's not a she, it's a he. What? Gremory is a strong duke of hell. He governs 26 legions of demons. He tells all things past, present, and future about hidden treasures. He seeks the love of women, especially maiden. And he is depicted as appearing in the form of a beautiful woman with a crown of a duchess and riding a camel. She's obviously, he's obviously not riding a camel, but he is depicted as a woman. And has a crown. And has a crown. So, when playing this game, I do prefer to refer to this card as a he. As in, I call Grimory, uh, he attacks, etc. So then it was the origins of that card. Yeah, moving on. Ooh, we got probably the most popular of the, the creeps right now since he just showed up in the show. He's fresh. He's a big, he's a big hitter. We have Azeroth, or the great Duke Azeroth. Look at that beautiful SP. I love SPs in this game. So, the great Duke, what do we know about him? He's a strong Duke. Very powerful out of the 72 I've taken it, but more of that lonely. Uh, he is in the shape of a foul angel, sitting upon an infernal dragon, carrying a viper. Or, you know, the snake. Now, if you look very carefully in his artwork, you can see there's a dragon right here. Now, we couldn't actually find a snake, but, you know, since the way it is all thing wrapped around, it couldn't be a snake. This cloth could be used to represent that factor, but who knows. Um, anyways, so he is claimed to rule 40 legions. So he has the big numbers right now. This guy has that gold. He's like, no, mind. So, yeah, very cool. Everybody knows him. He's scared of the ones. He has red eyes, so. Anyways, yeah. That is the Duke, and we have amongst many Dukes as the big one, everyone's favorite. Oh wait, actually, no, no, before we get to that, we have one more, because we want to say the best for last, but I want to talk about Rebel Belial, or just known as Belial, in his backstory. I'm get a good look at that guy real quick before we talk about him. Now, Belial means without a master, and symbolizes independence, self-sufficiency, and personal accomplishments. So, you can see where the Rebel kicks in Rebel Belial, so that's why, you know, he has that rebel look to him, because he's independent, and he's a master, and he's all about self-accomplishments, and whatever your punk rock guy doesn't want that, he wants his own, he wants to work on his own, you know, live the road on his own, so yeah, I like that, okay, now, as I was saying, the big man, we saved the best for last, you guys should probably know who he is by now, Chewie, take it away, 
We're talking about Demon Lord Asmodai. Asmodeus, Asmodai, Asmodai. Different types of pronunciations and spellings. Uh, he is a king of demons. He is supposed to be the king of the nine hells. Uh, he is referred as one of the seven princes of hell. Each prince representing one of the seven deadly sins. Meaning that Asmodai is actually the demon of lust. He uh, is depicted as having three heads. One like a bull, the second one like a man, and the third one like a ram with the tail of a serpent. He obviously doesn't look like that in this because that would probably be a little bit creepy for little kids and any young, <laughs> any young audience that would like to pick up this game. Um, however, the Lord part is there, being a king and all, and the name is there. Anything else you'd like to add? Well... There are 64 left of these guys, so let's go ahead and just bring them out right now. Oh, I'm just kidding. We really don't have time for that. You see, we're already kicking 11 minutes, and obviously all these cards are not out yet, but we do have a couple examples of names that we've found that could come to the show pretty soon. So this could be potential spoilers if Bushy Road and Buddy Fight does decide to keep going with the 72 Pillar faction. They will probably have some of these cards coming out soon, or at least variations of said names. We have, ooh, so many good. We have Bolts, uh, Person, uh, Bathan, Salios, Marlex, Epos, Aim, uh, Nervius, Naberius? Naberius, that's a good name, I like that one. Glacia Labalas, Moon, Renov, Beris. For for news for news, uh, which Fornos. yeah for news, <laughs> which is depicted as fish or sea monster. So if there is a card named for news or something like that that ends up being a fish or a sea monster, well, we As know that it, we know that it's in the Ars Code, yeah. Um, Gap, which is a water elemental, uh, Burfer, which is depicted as having a deer's head, uh, Marcosius, uh, depicted as a wolf with wings. Phoenix, a phoenix, and many, many other ones. Um, Balam, Wall, Vine, Alasis, Cameo, Murmur, Orobas, Vapula, Valak, Andras. I'm just naming the ones that might seem like they might do them. Andromalus. We may. I mean, obviously, so it would be called 72 Pillars. It would be cool to get all 72, but it just really depends on how, how long the game will last. I mean, the game is strong. Obviously, it's better than what Bushy would imagine it. So, possibility of seeing all 72, high, but they practical might. if the demand is there. I mean, maybe we talk to Bushy, hey, we like 72 pillars. Can we see more? But it really depends on the show. It depends how the card can be translated. I mean, obviously, our work is not a problem. You know, can, you know, can we have 72 uh, plus factions or cards for one faction? You know, it's a lot for one set. Or one not once, but one uh, world. So we don't know. It'd be cool. If, you know, we're only in set two technically right now. So we could see it. I would love to see it. I would, like, you know, it'd be cool to have a, a whole book dedicated to all the 72 pillars. Like, I would I would do that. I would collect all 72. But hopefully we do. If not, here's an example. Um, but we do. We, we didn't get this off ourselves. We didn't Google searches. There's actually a, uh, a mini movie that Chewie looked on Amazon. So... Do you think that's the movie? Uh, yeah, I'll be posting a link to the Amazon listing of the video. It can be rented or bought via the online Amazon video. And I highly recommend doing that. If, of course, if you have Amazon Prime, I'm pretty sure it's free. Um, I gotta look into that. But hey, go ahead. You know, it's, it's, like I said, it's on Amazon. Link down below to check that out. I highly recommend it if you guys are interested in stuff like this. It's really cool to read lore and origin of cards. It just brings more character to the card. And when you, you know, when you have a deck, you know, obviously if it's your personal deck, you want to have information about it. You want to know origins and lores and just make it more special towards you that you know what this deck is and how it works. And just so you know, these, these were our top or most favorite cards that we decided to talk about. Um, rest assured, there are uh, listings for uh, Ibolos, Bathin, uh, Separ. Um, I mean, you name it, every every 72 pillars of Belleth, every 72 pillars that has come out so far is listed on this um, database or list, whatever you want to call it. Barbados, Larage, 
all of these demons, they have their description and their their information. Uh, I will be linking, uh, I will be making a link to the Wikipedia page as well because it is the most complete that I've found aside from actually purchasing a physical copy of the book. Um, so yeah, it's, it's uh, I hope you guys, if you're interested, you take a look into that link and just let you guys know that there's actually some card fight vanguard characters that are also within 72 pillars or the 72 demons like come on spoiler alert dun 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 we may get a buddy fight version of Amon. who knows that'd, that'd be, be cool. really cool yep but yeah like i said you know uh links down below to the amazon book the wikipedia um just have some fun with it you know just grab your your buddy your magic world cards you guys have and you know just have some fun like we did and just grab a card like i wonder and just go to wikipedia link down below just go there and look up the names and bada boom, bada bing. It's that easy that we have it for you guys. Anyways, we're going to wrap this up. It is so long. We love talking. You know we love hearing our voices and you love it. So, But we have to wrap it up. It kind of hurts after a while for all of our talking. You know, being a celebrity hurts. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Like and post a comment below this video. is awesome town. Follow me on Twitter. Go ahead and subscribe to Chewy and I. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a for channel, so it doesn't matter. If you're watching this video, just hit the subscribe button. This is Jersey Joe. And Chewy from ATXTCG. And signing out.